Judges chapter 11, my key points were Jabeth. Jabeth was a firstborn son um, of Gilead who was supposed to inherit the firstborn inheritance, but he was rejected by his brothers of his father by the wives, and he was rejected by the elders of Gilead. Um, he was a rejected son because he was a son of a harlot. Um, he wasn't worthy for them to get the inheritance, to obtain the inheritance when it come time for it. But the leaders wanted him to fight for them. So he wasn't worthy for that, but I want you to fight for us. And the important part of Judges chapter 11 is that David had the spirit of Jehovah with him. And this is also important to let you know a part of your ministry you need the spirit of Jehovah with you. Now, my other key point was the fact that he ended up giving his daughter to the ministry of Jehovah. She was devoted um, uh, to the ministry because of his vow. I want us to pay attention to the vow that he made. That's his Judges chapter 11, 31. I want to read that today. Then he's then it shall be that was this is Japheth speaking to Jehovah making this vow. Then it shall be that whatsoever cometh forth of the doors of my house to meet me when I return in peace from the children of Ammon shall surely be Jehovah's, and I will offer it up for a burnt offering. So when he made that vow, I'm pretty sure he did not have in his mind that his daughter was going to be the one that come out the door. Now, this is the only child that he had. So she was not able to get married based off of the vow that he made, but she was dedicated to the work of Jehovah for the rest of her life. Now, my insights. By the spirit of Jehovah, David used wisdom to find out why he was going to war in the first place. Why, we have, why do we have to fight? And I love the fact that he understood the Torah when the king of Ammon was saying that we fight him because of the land. Now, he won the war again by the support and the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Now, my insight that I learned from David is not to make a vow, but to just acknowledge Jehovah in all my ways that he can direct my path. Making vows, um, some I don't think we think about the consequences that can come from that or fully think about it. So I just try to avoid making any vows at all, but just acknowledging Jehovah in all my ways. I have no questions, and there's a cross-reference, and there's a word study that's presented before you on this sheet.